Hi guys, in this tutorial we are building a word frequency visualizer using a bar chart. So, new package, data viz, um, word frequency app. So we're going to read a file and we're going to count occurrences of each word in that file, which we're then going to visualize. Just very quickly going to uh, build the boilerplate code, which is pretty much identical to um, most things on this um, channel. Let's go with stack pane as the root. The thing that's going to be present is the bar chart, string and number. String is the word, number is the um, occurrences, number of occurrences. Uh, Category axis is the x axis, and the numbers axis is going to be the y axis. What do we need to do then? Um, series, right? Yeah, it's series, which has to match the type. Add the series. <coughs> Can I just run this and see? Root get children add series. Nope, not series, chart. So what we then want to do is have some kind of, um, okay, yeah, so the chart is there. There are no entries, which we're going to add later. Um, in fact, let's design the data structure entry first. So we want to have uh, a word and the number of occurrences of that word, which is frequency. And I'm just going to generate a constructor and also two getters, frequency and the word itself. <clears throat> Right, so this is going to be the data structure which we're going to uh, obtain somehow. Let's go with uh, let's go with an interface so that you can add your own um, data extractors. I'm going to add the word extractor and I'll do a list of entries as a thing to return. But if you add more concrete examples to this interface, you might realize that you might you might need a, a different return type potentially, but that should work for our use case, which is word, uh, let's go with a word extractor, which has a file. We're supposed to import this automatically. Okay, fair enough, we have two imports. Word extractor is what we want. Path file, this file, uh, we need to uh, we need to implement our data extractor, which will allow us to extract this um, files. So we want to read all of the lines of this file. Uh, stream. We want to count occurrence of each word. So we're going to collect by the word itself. What? Oh yeah, right, because these are lines, so... Okay, well, first of all, let's get rid of this. If we can't read the file, just return um, collectors, collections, empty list. There we go. Can get rid of that then. Stream, we need to uh, map each line to words, which is split by this regex, which give us, which gives us the words themselves. Um, yeah, so this gives us the words, and then we want to collect based on collectors, collectors grouping, because we need to group them by the word itself, because we want to count the occurrence of each word, and um, grouping by the word itself, which is function identity, and then how to collect, 
um, collectors. Yeah, counting is what we want. We want to count. Oh yeah, that returns an array. Um, so arrays to stream, stream. Yeah, that's good enough. So that returns one string, which is the word and the number of occurrences of that word. Okay, but we only to return a list. Okay, right. Um, list of entries. Entries uh, map for each uh, word and frequency. Entries add a new entry with word and frequency. How about that? What? This is a long. We need. Oh, we said an int. Fair enough. Just convert back to an int. I don't think this will overflow. What's wrong with that? It's word and frequency, yeah. So how it has belong to int. Oh, because it's that long. Okay. So it has to that, right? Why not? And then cast that to int. This is some horrible typecasting going on. But it should work in our use case. And then return the entries, right? Okay, cool. So this is how we extracted all of the words and counted. Functional programming paradigm is really great for data manipulation, uh, which is why it works really well uh, for these use cases. So now we need our extractor. Data, ex no, data extractor. New word extractor paths. Oh yeah, I don't, I don't have the file yet. So I have a list of um, chapters of my PhD thesis. So I'm going to use that. If you have um, an essay or something like that, you might want to use that. Basically, you need a plain text file with lots of words in it. Uh, yeah, fine. Don't need to parse it. It will do uh, chapter one dot and that's what I want to read, um, chapter one.tag. So if you just copy your file into the uh, top level directory, it should be accessible just like that. And obviously if the paths are different for your files, then update the paths as needed. Extractor, we need to extract into a list of entries. Uh, let's go with functional programming again, stream, I want only the top 10 words, which is limit to 10. Oh yeah, I need to uh, sort it as well. Uh, word one, word two, no, it's entries. Entry one, entry, entry two. And I want a descending order of sorts. So it's get frequency, E1, get frequency. It's the top 10 words um, for each entry, um, series, add data, new data, which needs the category, which is the word, and the number, which is the frequency. Let's try it. Right, so it I don't know if you can see this, the font is too small, but it's registering empty, the n. Okay, so it takes lots of um, small words, which we don't want. And we also want to avoid capital um, letters in there as well, because I want it to be treated as just a single word. Okay, so stream. We'll do the easiest bit first, which is convert everything to lowercase. Uh, then we need to also filter. Uh, we want to know if the string is a word, really. And if word is empty, then return false, because that's not a word.
Nope, to try. I want to go through each character and see if it's a uh, letter. Because if it's not, then we return false. Because then it's not a word, right? To lowercase and then um, filter. I wonder if we want to do this before performance reasons. But anyway, it doesn't matter. So we're filtering only by by the words. Let's see. Cool. So I've got well, I've got articles still. So I've used the the article a hundred and something um, times. Um, alternatively, you could say we want each word to also be um, a certain number of characters. So if word length is less than four, then it's not a word. This is kind of arbitrary um, classification of what a word is. Ideally, you would have some sort of a list of excluded words, um, which would include things like articles, because you don't want to count articles. Yeah, that, that, that's a bit better. So I've used the word Euler, which is what my piece is about, more or less, um, 56, 57 times in the um, first chapter. Uh, second most frequent word is that. Then we have diagrams, diagram. That's another thing, because diagrams and diagram are pretty much the same word, but in different forms, singular and plural. You want to treat that um, as a single word, really. So you might want to do some NLP stuff, um, natural language processing. But that's kind of um, extensions uh, for this tutorial. Right, um, I think that's pretty much it. So in this tutorial, we've looked at a bit of functional programming um, related to how to extract some things, uh, how to convert one type to another type. We've used bar chart, um, which is a really nice visualization um, for things like um, frequencies. So if you want to display that this is the um, number of occurrences of a particular word or something else. For example, our data extractor is reasonably gener uh, generic enough for us to be able to implement in a different way. For example, you might want to count the number of um, items you've collected in a game or something that is different to a word extractor. And hopefully the API isn't going to change that much. Okay, uh, on this note, thanks for watching.